Oh yeah, one hour maximum. Let's reset the timer. There you go. You can turn scan lights on and off. I just kept them on for now. And there's a thing called chip acceleration. Um, that I will try out. Pilots. Oh, so many, look at them. Wow. A dog. Part of the second gunning DLC. All ah, right, okay, that's not something we can unlock while playing. These you can unlock by playing. All right, okay. I didn't know it had a DLC. Um, then there are augments. Each pilot begins with one unique augment that is always equipped. It has a yellow border. Um, you may equip up to three additional. Yeah, we see that in the top left. Additional augments can be earned by completing research tasks. They synergize in the same way that all other upgrade types do, but are not upgraded during battle. Aimbot. Uh, on your next gunlock sweep, this will auto lock on the, onto a random enemy and any range 10 second recharge. That's unique for the the, uh, the scout. Has a radar that sweeps around the ship, locking onto enemies, and then fires 50 damage homing missiles at the maximum three targets. On your next gunlock sweep, this will auto lock. Yeah, that's the aim bot, as we just. Then there are different ships. They are not behind the DLC paywall. You can unlock them by playing. Green, yellow, blue. Maybe that's just the color. We can take the green one. Ah, our guy has a green suit. He's got a green ship now as well. There are trials, challenges, extra challenges. And then we deploy on easy. On standard? Let's see, on standard. The Apoid Colony. Ready? That's the sweep. Now we locked on to them. Now we sweep, now we shoot. I can't get into the... Yeah, okay. I get it. It's kind of hard to... So bad for us. Yeah. That looks like a power-up thing. Yeah, control feel good. Feels good like this with this. Uh, what's it called? Uh, acceleration thing. It's it's a bit weird that I can't. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I can't really shoot at anything. <laughs> I'm relying on this. Oh, hello. Oh, that was a trap. I thought it was good for me. Whoops. Okay, and these yellow bits I'm collecting. Uh, they fill the bar under the character picture in the top left and then I pick a weapon. Every six seconds, three enemies targeted by lock-on take an additional 10 beam damage. There is a 4% chance that when an enemy dies, two projectiles will launch out in random directions dealing 25 damage. This chance is increased by 3% until it triggers and reduces by 35 when it does. A group of three lock-on targets appear around your targeters around your ship uh, when each has been placed over an enemy all of them will trigger oh that's that's good they can't target asteroids though that's another trap isn't it yeah to play some all right that's 
I feel doing not so good. I should try to be more up here, because then I can still collect the, uh, the drops. Uh, that was worth it. Uh, Hail Mary. The target appears moving left and right with you. It locks onto and fires a homing flare at one target in the area. Kineto Shield. As you move around, kinetic armor charges up at full charge. You gain armor that blocks the next damage. Fast beacons. They swirl around and hit an enemy. Okay, that's good. That can also destroy asteroids, I think. Well, damage asteroids, not so much. Unlock gets an extra target and it's faster. There's more. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's an upgrade for our base. After acquiring a target with the aiming ray, it fires an instantaneous 50 damage. The aiming ray? Hmm? Oh, here, pulse cannon. That's good. Repair drone. That appears in a random location. Okay. Pulse cannon. damage for the beacons by satellite decrease the number of enemies you lock on that's good ah. there's a lot going on on the screen and i feel like i'm constantly too far down what's that drone repairing Projectile weapon? Oh yeah, when enemies die they've got a chance to explode. That's good. We do more projectiles. I still don't know about that repair drone though. <laughs> Approaches. Oh. The 
shoots out the uh, disabling blocks. But I've got no protective field destroyed. Says I gets hit a lot. Defeated the Hive Queen. Um, disable enemy traps. Cool. Like that. So now we've got four utilities. That's the maximum. Okay, that. Is, I think this time it did heal a bit. Still not 100% sure. Okay, the bomb does seem a bit. Here we go. It's hard to see. Ooh, we're in one. Maybe. Yeah, upgrade our main weapon. Now destroy enemy shields. Okay. That's our trap. Yeah. It's definitely more classic bullet hell. I want to exit and see what we what we get here. Unique pilot augment for the other pilot. Okay. Uh, after acquiring a target with the aiming ray, it fires a 50 damage beam. The scope locks onto an enemy. If an Artemis targets that enemy with her light ray, it will fire instantly. Okay. She come. Okay, she comes with the scope. And she gets the yellow ship. Playing on easy. Level up faster, 50 max shields, 50% uh, chance for lower health asteroids. Score is reduced. Uh, okay. Fair enough. So. Ah, 
Ah, right, so... Interesting. A drone. Damaging this drone will make it shoot two beams that deal 50 damage in nearby enemies after being damaged at six times it breaks into gems. Uh-huh. Drone rang. Electroline. Electroline sounds good. Everything in front, really. Zap, zap, zap. Okay, we're also really crap at destroying asteroids. Yeah, the discharger is good, I think. When an enemy dies, there's a chance they explode into projectiles that just feels like it could be powerful. So good for the fire damage that happens there. A cannon appears randomly on the left on the or right of your ship and charges up in the attack, it then fires 20 damage beam. Oh beam's good. We have a uh, beam build, sort of. Here's at the left and right side of my ship, but it shoots forward. Ah. Okay. Sideline gets a cooldown reduction. less into things now that makes it much better it's a bit of a pity that we didn't get any reward for beating the first boss star I felt a bit I'm like yeah wasn't that good enough <laughs> but it probably works with ice form I don't know I need to check that out complete trial score high score gravity wave lane mines no let's get the crystal drone that shoots beams Yeah, 
then it dissolves into money cash, and then it recharges. More beans. Yeah, some wild weapon types here. Time to get disabled. I'm not sure the electron line is not that good for now, but maybe if I upgrade it. Targeting speed, that's good. We want that. Yeah, that crystal was a good choice. It might seem weird, but it's it's kind of powerful. More range. Got the okay. Charger bullets. The sideways rockets are just very confusing for my brain. Charger. They're just 
just creates extra projectiles without much effort. Too much damage in that. This is on easy, right? This is tightly packed the field here. Our main weapon gets on great. second currency. The discharger, nice. More, more. more stray bullets. Recharge. Not sure what that does. Oh shit. Fun game. Uh, fun to it. It's quite hard. Evolved light rail. Oh. Fire exclamation mark. So that that works like in the survivor games that you evolve weapons and you see the synergy effects at the bottom. 
Okay. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. But yeah, it's mainly positioning the game. I mean, obviously. I think are going to be a nice combo. If I can stay alive a bit longer. fire effect I was not very convinced by it but maybe it does more than I can tell because it's kind of low, low visible one of those games where you at some point go here <laughs> and enjoy a bit of uh, quiet to be able to concentrate on the bullets. <laughs> I mean, yeah. The sounds do fit the, the, the pixel graphics, of course. And boom. 
Um, I have a bit of trouble discerning, di di discerning, no, uh, distinguishing <coughs> some, <coughs> sorry, some enemy projectiles from my own. We've got yellow balls and red balls. We've got um, green rockets, and then we've got also other things that they do. So that's a bit. Let's reduce, re uh, recharge. The Bumble Baron. Oh, there's two of them. Barons. We didn't do any damage yet. You're gonna get number two as well. Can't be disabled. And come on. There you go. Nice. Second boss defeat. Is that a win? <gasps> That's a victory. Ooh. Okay, what do we get for a victory? So you have to defeat two bosses to get um Slag shot. Kinetto Beam, the placeholder. <laughs> For 9 minutes and 59 seconds you get a, a secondary starting weapon. Cool. This is not researched yet. Drops a mini power up on the battlefield 90 second recharge. Mini nuke, mini repair, mini phase shift. Okay. Take 200 damage. Yeah, I did that. Taking damage triggers a 75 damage bomb in your location and knocks enemies back, but you take extra 3 damage. Oh. Okay, and the others we need to still do, do more research for. We have unlocked a third pilot badger. Target line sways back and forth, firing poles for 3. 17 damage bullets. It's a projectile build, an auto turret. And the ships are different colors. That's a different type here, though. More projectiles. Mini power ups. That's, uh, that's all we need. I'm not sure if the other, if the other... Let's try standard on the second map. If the ship is different. Different shape. <laughs> Can't destroy asteroids. Oh. I didn't expect the, the projectile direction to change so quickly. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we need some upgrades. That's hard to play with. Uh, amplifier. Bolts. Now we want projectiles. There you go. <laughs> More projectiles. Pilot Badger on the job. targeting system or untargeting system I should say <laughs> slowly getting used to it when an enemy trap is within range release a pulse of energy around your ship that will disable all enemy traps 
Mm, no. A repair drone. Yeah, let's try again with the repair drone. This time I know earlier what to look for. Maybe it's more helpful then. Yeah, but these spider enemies, they are very dangerous. Ooh, nice! Not for broadcast? You could sp easily spend 20 bucks on it, it's worth it. I'm not kidding, that's such a good game. When you, when you watch the stream, right, you only see half of it. If, if that at all, because what you do when you play it on your own time is you go back and rewind and watch all the bits that you missed while you were doing the show. And that's the real great thing about it. Uh, the firecracker. A target that charges up. Releases cone-shaped glass with projectiles, burning enemies. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Let's re-roll. It's a trap disruptor again. Oh. I want to re-roll again. Yay, projectiles. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, this is a... Oh, they had a trap for us. This is a weird... A weird weapon. I'm not really getting along with it. But... It's, it, it is what we got now. beacons extra projectiles yes ah oh, that a nuke oh, it's an invulnerability so we can do some research Whee! extra projectile for the replicator pew 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 Oh, what? They release Death Cloud. Feedback loop. Now let's get the shield. Oh, man. I keep getting surprised by their, their spider legs. I really shouldn't. So many damaging effects. Oh. I wish I could lower the input sensitivity a bit for the gamepad. It's very jumpy. Which is good, but it's also making it challenging to do fast positioning properly. But that's not the game's fault. Backdraft. Ah, we want more projectiles. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. see which enemies are dangerous they got their purple purple color there or pink or whatever that is space pink field oh. it's about time but yeah the amount of information on the screen is a bit much for me to do things purposefully all the time 
yeah, for what it is, the game works rather well. Um, me personally, I would rather play a survivor, classic survivor game. damage them when we hit their claws. Only when their claws are in an exposed state. Okay. We need to wait until they are zappy zappy. Okay, we took down one of the claws. That I like. Boss fights where you can make, make it a bit easier if you do. Like a partial win. No. They're vulnerable in general. Challenging. It's a challenging game. Gun locked. So I think it needs more than one space tune. Um, they did a good job with the sounds, but also, like in every other game like this, I turned them off after I don't know two, three runs. Um, it seems that the pilots are very different from one another in their starting equipment and then you can um, pick your augments that you do research on more or less purposefully and uh, yeah there's some some stuff to do I don't really know what the ships are for if it's just color and shape not sure if that's really necessary it doesn't do anything for me but I guess it's fair if you can pick your pick your color um, but yeah, that's gun locked. Not too shabby, but not my favorite type of uh, challenge. It's a bit, a bit up there with the uh, um, bullet hell that happens there.